so it's very first thing in the morning as you can tell I'm like <laughs> but um, I just wanted to show you this view good morning everyone where is it? I'll get it but there's a a male hen over there I won't be using the other word, just in case. <laughs> Which has woke us up from 4 o'clock onwards. But it is warm already. Got a bit of sun cream on. I'm going to get down there and have a coffee bottle the pool. Hello mate. I'm thinking coffee and that's my spot over there for the morning so I've got my cup of coffee some grapes and banana I'm not normally a massive fruit eater but when you're on holiday it's not wrong to do so wrong to not do so I should say so we just uh, had breakfast and we're just chilling around the pool I'm gonna switch the SD card into the into the GoPro now because it is dead. Oh. Yeah, well, it's yeah. not dead yet, it's full. So we need to transfer the only nano SD card thing we've got is in this camera. So we're going to transfer that over now into the GoPro and then. Uh... We've got some mad flips to do in the pool. So. <laughs> mad flips are happening then. See you in the pool. Again, another apology for the lack of footage, but we actually had a little incident earlier and has uh, split our eyebrow open. So. What are you doing? Been an idiot. <laughs> This one has split her eyebrow open. I'm okay. Fantastic news, that was this morning. No, but we had a little accident this morning. We popped to the farm scene, got all that sorted. So, which is the reason we haven't filmed anything. But we've just come to... What's it called? Springs. Yeah, so the plan was to come here. And then I think we're near roads. Heading or at road least on the way to roads from where we're staying. Yeah. So, we've come here. We're having a little look around. We're having a few drinks. And uh, yeah, we're going to head to Rhodes Old Town later for some dinner, potentially some drinks, which would be nice. Yeah. If this one's all hasn't swollen up. It's gone down actually, looks better. This is why I travel. I want to find the ultimate beer. What you had? I had a drink called Calathea Springs. Calathea Springs? Did, what was the main vodka? It's got vodka, bubblegum syrup, lime juice, orange. Something sick. Some, some other syrup. I don't know if yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Adrian's had a pina colada. Okay. Graham's had a mojito. Oh.
we're just here at Calicia Springs and we actually managed to get a pair of pliers off the bar mat to get my attachment that was stuck. Um, I was actually stopping me from changing the battery on the camera so which is why we didn't really get much footage earlier. Um, but that's sorted now so that problem's out of the way so hopefully I can film a little bit more now. But just want to show you this view. really hard to record as the sun is very low so I don't actually know what I'm filming right now we got an ice cream Beautiful. this is our dessert so it's paying for it at the restaurant update on Courtney's eye oh, it's very dark <laughs> <laughs> so we've just had a nice meal all together we had a some traditional Greek food. It seems to be like a bit of a family run family run restaurant. It's really nice. Um, I tried some damades or something. I need to look up how you actually pronounce that, but um, they were like pine leaves with like rice wrapped inside them. And then we had some moussaka and then the girls had bolognese and carbonara. And uh, I think Graham had like a chicken skewer which looked really nice and fresh. And uh, yeah we just come and got an ice cream in the old town now. Just uh, a little wonder around this area here. And everyone's just having an ice cream here. to the villa oh that's very very bright um yeah it's been a good day we went to uh Calithia springs as you would have seen which was very nice it was very hot this afternoon but we had a nice drink and a little dip in the water but yeah it's like very very pretty place to, to visit um yeah then we got a taxi from there to Rhodes old town which is very nice again it's all shops and restaurants and bars and whatever but it was a bit busy very touristy most of the shops sort of just sell the same things and whatever. But um, whenever we go away, me and Courtney have started getting into this like habit of trying to collect playing cards from wherever we go. So we managed to get these roads playing cards, and then we sort of like put the other, put the latest pack away back in like we've got like a little memory box. So we usually put them away. So we're currently playing with our Disney World ones. But um, this will be our the, the next time we go away, we'll be using these ones. Um, but yeah, we are back at the villa. This is the villa. 
quite pretty at night and the lights are due to come on in about eight minutes it's about ten to nine now so in about eight minutes just under ten minutes all these lights automatically come on and uh, I'll hopefully try and capture it this is where the incident happened earlier with Courtney this is a uh, I don't know if you would have seen already but if not try and insert a photo here somewhere she actually had a bit of an accident in the pool where she's ended up cutting the underside of her eyelid um, unlucky but quite lucky in a way because it wasn't as bad as we, as we first feared so we just managed to get to a pharmacy well luckily to be honest next door here just in this corner is someone that actually resides here who sort of overlooks the villa um, cleans the pool and he's been very helpful to be honest he came over and introduced himself and gave us his gave us his number and then he gave us some uh, like floats and stuff inflatables for the pool very friendly guy showing us around his orchard this morning where we got some fresh fruit from him and um, yeah luckily he noticed the accident I had a friend who was a pharmacist they've looked after us we got like a little steri strip on it like a butterfly stitch as, as such and uh, it does look a lot better, but the swelling's gone down, but all the bruising's coming out now, so um, hopefully she's not too bad in the morning. And uh, she's very resilient, Courtney. She's, um, she's a brave girl, a lot tougher than I am, and uh, she's not letting it spoil her trip, which is good. Um, fair, play to, fair play to her for that. But um, we're going to chill out now, we're going to have a little drink. I'm going to sit in the terrace, chill out, music on, a few, few drinks, probably a few snacks, and just enjoy roads for this nice, as you can hear. It's nice and peaceful around here, so as a car goes past. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's very quiet here. Chill out. A little dip in the pool. Yeah, and a nice little few beers to see the rest of the evening off. So I was actually hoping to catch the pool lights coming on and the garden lights. They're now on. As I put the camera away, they actually flicked on. But um, let me just show you. I'm going to dive in there head first. No, we are not. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Uh -huh.